have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hello everyone. Uh, today we see how to create this pop art side effect that was originally created by uh, the visual artist in the Warhol. So we see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop. All right, fantastic. So let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just open the image that you want to use. And the first thing we'll do is just duplicate it two times by pressing Ctrl G. And the first one in here will desaturate it by pressing Shift Ctrl U. And we we'll just make a level adjustment so we we'll darken a little bit uh, the hair. So we we'll just be using just the hair of this image. So we we'll go and we we'll press Ctrl L. And we we'll make it like darker a little bit, something like so. And we we'll bring the highlights a little bit. Something like that. All right, press OK. Now we uncheck this and we go to this one in here and we press Shift Control U to that desaturate it. Now we just make a level adjustment so we we'll affect the skin and everything else. So we just press Control L and now we just make it darker. And you bring the white a little bit and we just darken it a little bit more okay, like that all right it's okay now we go to the first one in here we just made like so and we make a black layer mask just use press alt one click so we make it black and we go to a brush we choose a, a zero percent hardness and we just paint with a white color in the hair like so to so bring the darkness of the hair Right. Now we just merge the both of them, so we just select them both and we press Ctrl E, like so. Now I uh, will just create a new layer, and we change the blending mode of this layer to multiply, and we choose a soft a gray, like so. You can just use the number 80, 80, 80, like so, and press OK. And we just just start uh, painting uh, for uh, in the background with a gray color. Or let's first uh, let's first crop the image. So we we'll just paint the area that we want, something like that. All right. Press enter. Now we just paint this background one in here. So we just make the hardness 100%. And then we just start painting like so. It's okay, like you know, you can just like to paint over a little bit of clothes, it's okay. I'm just doing this fast, so. So in this part of the hair, I would just, as you know, make it like whatever you want. It depends on how you want it. Now, as you can see, we have uh, the background in a gray color. So let me just make edges a little bit better. Okay, like so. Alright, now we'll make a new layer again and 
this time we just paint the face so we just change the blending mode to multiply again and we just paint the face but the glasses so we just paint in the face like so so we just paint uh, and also we do not touch the, the lips so we just paint just in these areas in here we just didn't paint the, the black of these glasses in here it's okay to touch the white because we will we'll get rid of this black Something like that, it's okay like to be messy a little bit. And the part of uh, the hair, I will just make the, the hardness of the brush a little bit softer. Something like that, and I will just paint a little bit. Like so. Okay, something like so. Let's paint this part in here. Okay. Now we'll make a new layer again and this time we just paint uh, the clothes so we just change the blending mode to multiply and with the same the gray color I will just paint like so Alright so something like that now we'll make a new layer again and we'll just paint the hair this time so I will just change the blending mode to multiply again and then we just start painting in the hair you can always load the selection of the background in here and we can just paint can reverse the selection by pressing shift ctrl i and you can just paint in the edges in here Something like so Alright, now we'll make it softer in the hardness again and we just paint to we'll just match them like so. Alright, something like that. Now we we'll make a new layer again and just make the blending mode multiply and this time we just let me put under 100 this time we just paint the lips like so like you know if it's good like to focus more but you know it's also good for this effect to be a little bit scratchy like that and you know for this part in here we need like to paint uh, this black glasses in here but in our original uh, picture the glasses is black and it won't uh, make a really like bright color to it so you can just go back to this one in here and we make a layer mask to it and we just delete this black in here so we just make the color black just start deleting like so like that and this one too
scratch as you can see now we go to this one in here and we can just load the selection of these glasses we revert to selection by pressing shift ctrl i and we go to this one and we just fill it with gray by pressing all pleats like so as you can see now like we can just easily change the colors so because like we apply we make a gray color to it now we can just load the use saturation adjustments by pressing control u and we can just you know now we can just uh, check colorized and we make the saturation 100 and as you can see this will make the, the colors change easily but i would just add this earring in here so we just make this gray too so it will change its color like so just delete it from the face with an eraser Let's delete that like so all right okay let's go let's add all right now we load hue saturation adjustments by pressing ctrl u and we check colorized and as you can see it will easily change its color so we'll make a nice bright color with purple all right it's okay and we go to the hair press ctrl u again choose colorized and we make saturation 100 and we just make the hair blonde okay something like that it's okay and clothes draw you again colorized and just change its color to maybe red it's okay and the background control U choose colorized just choose blue color okay now uh, we go to the face press control U again and choose colorize but this time we won't like make the saturation 100 we just put 50 percent like so and this time we'll make the lighten the lightness uh, more light to it so we just put 50 plus 50 all right and now we change the color so we see what color will be good okay this one looks cool it's okay as you can see we make it like change its color very easily now we just let me just paint a little bit of white in here just to complete the glasses to be our cheating make it color white we just paint just a little bit all right maybe something somewhere in here okay let's go cool. now we just merge everything by pressing shift ctrl alt e and it will make it in a separate layer in here and now uh, we just go to the crop tool and it will make it bigger so we can put four of them like so all right it's okay let me just check this put everything in the group in here now we just duplicate this one in here by pressing alt and we will drag 
one just right here and again alt and drag one in here and the last one which will be in here as you can see now we'll go and we can like change its color really easily so we can just go to this one and we press ctrl u again but this time we won't like make colorized we just choose whatever color we want from here so I will just make it this yellow like so press ok and we change this one in here by pressing ctrl u again and then we put maybe green alright press ok Control U again. Now we put a red color. All right, press OK. And this one I will just let it blue. As you can see, it will give it this really nice effect. Now I will just uh, merge everything by pressing Shift Control Alt P, e, and would we'll make it like to appear more so we can just duplicate it by pressing ctrl g and we'll uh, make desaturate this one in here by pressing shift ctrl u and we change the blending mode to linear light like so and we go to filter other high pass and we give it uh, 0 0.5 pixel and we press ok as you can see it will give it this really nice details in here in the edges now the last thing we can do we can just go to channel in here and we load the selection of the blue channel by pressing control one click and we just reverse the selection by pressing shift control i and we press control g and we make it in top in here and then we change the blending mode to soft light and this will give it more like uh, darker to it, you can make the opacity 60% and there you go so I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know have a nice day